Coroner's office did identify that man as 22-year-old David M. Edens Jr. He was pronounced dead at the scene, and the coroner's office estimates that time of injury and death was around 10:35 last night. So, our tragic story begins with a toxic relationship turned deadly. When the broken dynamic between ex-lovers and warring co-parents David and Kodisha tragically boils over, culminating in a fateful act of violence fueled by hostility that ends with a loving father murdered in cold blood. Welcome back to Crime Chronicles Unearthed. Let's dig into the tragic story of David Edens, a young father murdered by his toxic ex-girlfriend Kodisha Bryson amidst their contentious co-parenting relationship. Don't forget to subscribe to uncover more dark, true crime tales. It all started in Greenville, South Carolina. The victim was David Duke Eden Jr., a 22-year-old loving father of two children. David was outgoing and funny. He liked to tell jokes and make people laugh. David Adens and Kodisha Iuna Bryson were the parents of a young daughter. They had previously been in a romantic relationship that resulted in the birth of their child. However, after some time their relationship turned toxic and combative, characterized by frequent arguments, name-calling, and threats. Despite ending their romantic partnership, David and Kodisha continued to share parenting duties of their daughter as co-parents. However, their co-parenting relationship was plagued by the same toxicity that led to the downfall of their prior romantic relationship. David and Kodisha struggled to communicate effectively about their daughter or cooperate on parenting decisions without vitriol. David Edens was a 22-year-old father of two children living in Greenville, South Carolina. He harbored dreams and aspirations of becoming a rap artist and would frequently post videos on social media showing himself freestyle rapping over beats. In the videos, David displays creativity, wordplay, and musical talent that lent credibility to his artistic ambitions. This toxic dynamic was sadly indicative of David and Kodisha's typical interactions. Parenthood is inherently stressful under the best of circumstances, but attempting to co-parent with an ex-partner who responds to disagreements with hostility and threats creates an environment ripe for tragedy. On Tuesday, November 19, 2019, at around 10.45 p.m., a shooting occurred at a Motel 6 in Greenville, South Carolina. David Eden Jr. lost his life in this shooting. Deputies found David dead inside one of the motel rooms where he lived. Earlier that night at 10.45 p.m., police received a 911 call reporting a burglary at the Motel 6, located at 2015 Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greenville. When police arrived at the motel, they found a young black male dead in one of the rooms. This young black male was later identified as David Eden Jr. David had a gunshot wound. He was identified as David Edens Jr. Police took a female into custody, Kodisha Bryson. Keisha voluntarily surrendered herself to the investigating officers. Police interviewed motel guests about the incident. According to one guest named Samantha Rustler, Kodisha kept breaking windows until she found the room David was staying in. She shouted for David to come out of his room. When David opened the door, Rustler said that Keisha shot him. The police interviewed more motel guests. Most hadn't noticed anything unusual. However, one guest said they heard a woman screaming around the time of the shooting. One woman living at the motel told police she felt concerned for her safety. As police investigated further, eyewitness testimony became a crucial part of understanding what happened. An eyewitness named Samantha Rustler said that Keisha kept breaking windows until she found David's room. Keisha shouted for David to come out. When he opened the door, Keisha shot David according to Rustler. As part of the ongoing investigation, David's family members provided information to the police about David's relationship with Kodisha. This helped the police uncover possible reasons and motives behind the shooting. David's family described his relationship with Kodisha as toxic. Much of their relationship drama played out on social media. David's last Facebook post stated, All I know is I will stay single for life before I enter another toxic relationship. Facts. One of David's cousins said that when he first introduced Kodisha to the family, they embraced her with open arms. However, the relationship turned toxic over time. According to the police report, at least one other motel room had a broken window. Based on eyewitness accounts and evidence, the police determined that Keisha arrived at Motel 6, where David was staying, but did not know which room was his. So she knocked on doors and broke windows looking for David's room. Kodisha approached several rooms before finding the room David was staying in. When she found David, they began to argue. 
During the argument, Kodasha shot David. Police found David's body in his motel room. Kodasha told police that the gun went off accidentally. The investigation revealed that David lived at Motel 6, where he was killed. David's family told police he and Kodasha were not in a relationship at the time of the shooting. To better understand Kodasha and David's relationship, police looked at David's Facebook page. In many pictures and videos, David is flaunting a lot of money and living his best life. Just a couple hours before he was killed, David made a Facebook post reading, All I know is I will stay single for life before I enter another toxic ass relationship. Facts. This post highlighted the toxic relationship between David and Kodasha. As part of the investigation, police watched a 42-minute video from five months before the shooting that was posted on David's Facebook page. In the video, David is sitting in his rental car while Kodesha is standing right outside. Kodesha pours her drink into David's car and proceeds to hit the vehicle with her hands and other objects. She also tries to get David to open the car window. David and Kodesha trade insults throughout the video. David is acting comically and accuses Keisha of wanting to put him in jail by falsely accusing him of shooting at her house, which he denies. The video provided investigators insight into the volatile and toxic dynamic between David and Kodasha leading up to David's murder. David clearly states multiple times in the video that he hates Kodasha with all his heart. He says he wants to get a restraining order against her so that if she comes at him, he can legally hit her and knock her wig off in self-defense. David also discloses in the video that Kodasha does not let him see their daughter. He shows an injury where he says Kodasha previously bit his tattoo the week before while trying to take their baby from him. While David seems joking at times, he also appears genuinely frustrated and serious throughout the video. Several times David mentions that Kodasha is riding around town following and harassing him while having their newborn infant in the car with her. The suspect, Kodasha Bryson, voluntarily surrendered to police after shooting David Edens Jr. She was arrested and faces charges of murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. She had a bond hearing in court. The judge made the decision to deny bond for Kodasha pending her trial. This means she will remain in custody and will not be released. The denial of bond suggests the judge considered the murder charge and potential risks too high to allow her back into the community at this stage. Kodesha will remain in custody as the legal case continues through the courts. The courtroom was filled with David's large family attending the hearing. Kodesha was allowed to speak to David's family directly. She called them out by name and apologized for her actions. During the bond hearing, Kodesha said to David's family, The gun went off. I would never try to hurt him. She added, He's a great dad. I'm sorry that went off. Kodesha begged David's family to forgive her. She is being held without bond in the Greenville County Detention Center. Kodasha has admitted to shooting David, but claims it was an accidental discharge of the gun. According to David's video from months earlier, he had broken up with Kodasha over a year ago. But despite David's attempts to get away from her, Keisha was upset with him for unknown reasons. The toxic back and forth apparently continued until David's death. Even though David tried to evade Keisha, she was able to find and confront David at the motel, leading to the shooting. Whether the shooting was an accident or not, Keisha approached David with a gun, and now he is dead. All the apologies cannot bring David back. We hope David Eden Jr. gets the justice he deserves. This heartbreaking case underscores the potential perils of toxic co-parenting relationships rooted in domestic hostility. When communication has degraded beyond constructive boundaries, even minor disagreements can escalate rapidly with devastating consequences. Abusive behaviors like threats of violence must always be taken seriously, even in instances where no physical harm has previously occurred. No parenting conflict justifies resorting to violence, coercion, or verbal intimidation against a co-parent. And if you liked this dark crime tale, be sure to like and subscribe to Crime Chronicles Unearthed for more chilling true crime stories.